everyone, it's Jenny, and today I'm joining you with two projects which use embossing powders with layering dies and layering stamps to create beautiful three-dimensional effects. First off, I'm going to show you this card which uses 3D layering dies. They're from Altenew and they're a little bit different, so I'll show you how I did that and then I'll show you how you can get similar effects using your layering stamps. For my projects, I'm going to be using Wow Embossing Superior Smooth Cardstock, which is amazing for heat embossing. I'm going to be using for my first card the Wow Trios. These are a new product, and this is the one Aquatini by Catherine Pooler. And then I'm also going to be using my wonderful Wow Dual Heat Embossing Gun, and then of course the layering dies from Altenew. So you'll see here that they show you how to put the dies together. They do require uh, four different colours. So to help me plan my project, I've made the die cuts and I've laid out which embossing powders I'm going to be using. So originally I was planning on using metallic uh, frost, but I changed that a little bit later, you'll see, to sea glass. I'm using the two embossing powders from the trio, and I've also supplemented it with Cloud 9, which is a really pretty embossing glitter. has flecks of blue in it, and I thought it would be perfect for the lighter layers. To add embossing ink to my die cuts, I'll be using my ink pad, but for this smaller one, which has lots of little uh, bits sticking out of it, I'm going to be using the new Refill re Re-Inker by WOW Embossing. It's got a roller ball on top, so it's great. You can apply it directly to the die cut, just roll it around, and then you get a good layer of ink that you can then emboss with. So I'm adding my first embossing powder here, and they, you will see there were a few areas where I didn't quite cover it with the inker. That's my fault. I couldn't really see that easily. And it's easy enough to fix. I just embossed the piece and then I went back in with the inker. And you'll see here the effect you get. I'm then with the larger die cuts using my WOW embossing ink pad and I'm just smushing them into the ink pad, getting a good coating of the ink, throwing it off to the side. I'm using coffee filters to catch my embossing powder and then I'm using the splash embossing glitter from the trio to emboss this layer and it's so pretty. I'll just give you a close-up of what it looks like. Now you can just do one layer. I seem to like to do more than one. I went in with two layers on this piece and two layers on the other pieces as well. And I've gone ahead, I've cut the rest of the embossing out of the video just to make it a little bit quicker, but I've gone ahead and embossed the larger pieces, the solids, in cloud nine. And then to adhere them together, you just need to line them up and use some strong liquid adhesive because you need something really strong so that it's going to stick the embossing glitter to the cardstock. And then I like to use an acrylic block just laid over the top just to keep it in place while the glue dries. I'm then adding on top the smallest piece, which is sea glass, and then I've adhered the two layers together with foam tape. The final piece, the centre, is sparkling snow, and here's a look at the finished piece. It's got some lovely dimension, and it really does catch the light. It's beautiful. Now, the best thing about using pieces like this is that you don't have to do any masking for your card. So you can use the piece, line it up on your panel of cardstock, line up the stamp, so I'm using Beautiful Day by Altenew, and then just remove the piece and you've got your stamp in the right place. I'm using my Misty Stamp Positioning tool here. You could of course use an acrylic block, just as easy. And I wanted to keep the background quite light so that the die cut embossed piece really is the star of the show. So I'm using Twilight Ink, that's by Catherine Pooler, just to ink up the outline stamps from the set and stamp them directly onto the panel. And I'm just doing the second piece here. And it's so awesome that I don't have to do any masking. I'm using the bunch of florals down in the bottom corner to create a sort of triangular shape on my panel. And then what I'll do is take my strong adhesive again, 
and directly add it to the center of the card. Now I had every intention of stamping the sentiment directly onto the background as well, which I did. However, I totally messed it up, but that's okay, we can fix it. I took a strip of Smoke and Mirrors cardstock by Catherine Pooler and heat embossed the sentiment in Wow Primary Opaque Bright White Embossing Powder, trimmed it out, popped it up on foam tape and hid the messy sentiment underneath. I finished it off with a few black splatters uh, created with black ink smushed onto my ink pad and a little bit of water and some sparkling clear sequins. And that finishes the first card. You can see the dimension you get just from creating the layers of embossing. So for my second card, I'm using the same stamp set and I'm just gonna use three of the layers. I'm not gonna use the outline layer to create my uh, image. I'm going to create almost the same layout again. I just wanted to show you the kind of how they compare. And I do really like this effect as well. When you're layering up the embossing ink, it does create a little dimension in its own right, even without using dyes. So I've inked up the first layer, which is the solid layer, with WOW Embossing Ink. And I'm going to heat emboss this with uh, Oyster Glints. Oyster Glints is a possibly one of my favorite embossing powders. It's like a really pale cream and if you hold it in the light, it has a really nice sheen to it, like all of the Glintz powders do. It is solid, semi-translucent, and it's it's pearly. It's really, really, really pretty. And because it's light, I thought that would be perfect for the first layer. So I've stamped it directly onto a panel of the WOW cardstock, which is trimmed down to four and a quarter by five and a half. I didn't treat the panel with my powder tool the first time. Uh, and I was lucky, I didn't get any stray flecks. The second and third layers, I highly recommend treating the embossed area with your powder tool before you ink up. And I'm now stamping down the second layer. Because that surface is going to be quite slick, you need to stamp down and up in a very firm motion. One version of this that I did try, I wiggled the block and it wiggles a much easier because of the fact that the embossing powder is slick. It just makes it a little bit more challenging to stamp on. And I'm stamping this second layer in Mayan Glints, which is a peachy pink color, really pretty. And then I've treated it with my powder tool again and I'm going in with the final third layer and I'm going to emboss this one in the darkest color. I'm using metallic copper which really adds some contrast and depth to the image. And it's, I really liked this trio of colors. It's, they're not part of a trio. And this was one of the fun things with layering stamps. You need to find a light, a medium, and a dark. A lot of the trios that WOW has, you'll be able to do that with. Uh, even you could use glitter. And look at the dimension that you get. It, there, it, because there's three layers of embossing powder, it raises up the surface of the image. It looks really cool. Now again, don't have to do any masking. I'm doing the exact same leaf again, inked up in Twilight ink, and I'm just stamping it directly over my embossed image. And I can come in, the embossing powder resists the ink, and I can just wipe it off. It's brilliant. I'm going to do this all the time. <laughs> it's it's so much quicker and I'm keeping a similar um, layout I'm coming in with a bunch of flowers and I'm adding a few of the extra little sprigs just with an acrylic block here and there and I do go back in at the end and wipe off any of the the um, twilight ink that's laying on the surface of the embossing powder now I'm not gonna add any splatters this time I'm gonna come in with the sentiment and this time I'm gonna stamp it directly onto the background panel and I didn't mess it up so I didn't have to fix this one and as a little bit of extra on this one I'm coming in with some tattered rose distress ink this is not the oxide I wasn't quite sure whether the embossing powder would resist the oxide or not and I didn't want to mess this up again so um, I've come in with the tattered rose I thought it was perfect combination with the Mayan glints and I'm just stamping, stamping the second layer of the leaves over the top. I backed the panel onto a £110 white card base and added some sparkling clear sequins to finish. And that completes the card. 
All the supplies I used are listed in the description box below, as well as a link to the WOW embossing channel and blog for which this video was created. You can also check out some other videos you might enjoy on my channel, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe and don't forget to click that bell to be reminded when I've got a new video. I hope you all have an awesome day. Bye!